Okay, so here we have a problem it says the barometer shown here in figure one and the barometer is just like this. Then you got the container of mercury that around the back. Okay, so and then we have mercury. I'll, I'll make the mercury red because I think it's red. And it's all the way up here, and it goes up here. Mm, let me get like that. Okay, well, this is all mercury and it's going up in here. And it is in the barometer, they want you to read it. it says this is seven. 153 and that's in millimeters of mercury so this will be 753 millimeters of mercury which is HG and then there's some lines up here all the way up here is 754 and there's some lines, one, two, three, and then it's at the bottom of the fourth line, and it'll be the fifth line. And they want you to read that, well, you need to read that, and since it's at the, it's right at the bottom, and they, you can determine the accuracy of this barometer to two places past the the given number so you can read it and it reads out to be 753.40 millimeters of mercury hg I'll write the question in green because that's what we're going to find out. What is P atmospheric pressure? in inches of mercury so I'll just put in HG question mark okay so we know that we have 753.40 millimeters of mercury and we have some conversions that we need to know that are given to us and those just write those up at up top so they're out of the way but you can see find them when you need them one centimeter is equal to ten millimeters one inch is equal to two point five four centimeters and we need to find the answer in atmospheric pressure inches of HG Figure one measures atmospheric pressure in millimeters of mercury. And we know 
Also, what else? The last thing that we need to know is one atmosphere equals 760 millimeters Hg. Had a brain brain stumble. Okay, well, this is. Okay, so that helps. So what is P atmospheric pressures in inches of mercury? So we have our diagram and we now we have to do our conversions. This problem is all just about conversion factors and how to get from one con one factor of this so we know that the current the, what we measured is 753.40 millimeters of Hg and we can do some conversion factors. We're going to take that and multiply it. That's a multiplication symbol. We can multiply that by what do we want to get rid of? Well, we want to get the millimeters out so then we're going to divide because if we divide we can cancel out the millimeters so we can just multiply by one if you multiply by one it doesn't change anything at all so we can do just one centimeter over ten millimeters so That'll cancel out the millimeters. It'll then be in centimeters, but we don't want it in centimeters. We want it in inches. So then we can take that, and we know that there is, since we need to cancel out the centimeters, we can put the 2.54 centimeters that we know one inch is equivalent to, so this factor is just equivalent to one, so we're not doing anything to the actual data. One inch. And we actually don't even need to know that one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury for right now. And so our insert is going to be in inches of HG. And so, because th those are the only things that haven't got canceled out. The inches, nothing's canceling out the inches, and the HG has been there since from the beginning. So if we can just, I'll put a red line through it. I'll put a blue line because these things are getting crossed off. They need to cool down. Blue cancels out there. And then the centimeters cancels out. But we still need those numbers, so... Don't forget that. And then we can do... We can use our calculator now. It's, there's nothing wrong with using a calculator. 753.40 divided by 10 and then divided by that answer divided by 2.54 equals 29.66 and since we started with 5 started with 5 significant figures but the answer they're only requiring 4 so that's what we're going to stay with is I'm going to put it in green because that's what we went out and got. We went and got it. It's 29.66 inches of mercury. And um, then I'm going to enter that. 29.66. And that is correct. So, good job.